Hello everybody and welcome back to the Snap Change Media Channel. I'm Brandon Jacobs and in this video I'll be reviewing the recently updated 2023 Mercedes-Benz AMG 855. It is a sports hatchback, performance-based sports hatchback and I really like this car. It's very comfortable and it is very quick. So let's get into the video and I'll show you what I like about it. the major updates to the 2023 AMG A55 is the mild hybrid system which is able to send 10 kilowatts to the engine at startup. The 2023 updates include the new Panamericana grill up front which you wouldn't get with the previous AMG A35. So the new Panamericana grill up front really make this look like a serious AMG. Uh, it looks aggressive, it is those vertical lines going down and it just allows more air into the radiator and into the engine basically. Also new to the styling is the three-pointed star um, logo in front and then the AMG emblem badging which looks cool and it really gives this vehicle, like I said, that AMG feeling. It also has revised headlamps. This particular model has been specced with a multi-beam headlights led headlights led daytime running lights of course is included and they look good it's also a new chrome splitter down at the bottom in the middle 18 inch alloys come standard with the 835 but this model has been specced with the 19 inch alloys which i think look amazing they are aero dynamic amg and then also along the side is the amg color coded skirting you'll see the chrome accents which complement the front splitter and the chrome is found around the window around the windows and on the door handles which i think look nice uh, especially on this black metallic paint job it's also been fitted with a privacy glass tint windows which is part of the night pack 2 package which comes at the extra cost and then that has this nice fin at the back i like the spoiler at the back which is very subtle i don't like the big spoiler that comes with the aero pack and that's found on the a45s and then also around back is the newly revised tail lights and they also look nice especially at night uh simple looking but still keeping the modern design my favorite part to the new styling of the AMG A35 is the rear splitter. I really think that it looks aggressive, especially with the bulgy bumper, amazing. And the twin exhaust pipes that are also chrome just look good. Those are tips and they are faux, they aren't really connected to the exhaust pipes. But yeah, the exhaust pipes really make a good sound. I will show you now. I'll just pop it into sport mode and then you can get a uh, hearing. Okay, let's pop it into sport. Sport Plus. Pops and bangs as well. Sheesh. So the exhaust note from the A35, I do feel is a bit better than the C43 that I've had on test a few weeks ago. The key fob looks amazing as well. It's very plain, has the AMG branding on it, and I like the high gloss black. Keyless entry comes standard with the a35 mg so you're able to just have the key in your pocket and open the door handles but well, there's sensors on the handles once your hand goes closer it unlocks the car and you're able to jump in on the inside new things to the a35 is of course the mg specific steering wheel and it has the integrated buttons for the driving modes for the mg drive mode so you're able to just switch it like i did earlier into sport mode quickly the right hand dial is dedicated to the drive modes and then the left hand side dial is dedicated to shifting like putting the traction off putting it into manual mode from automatic and then also on the off switch for the auto stop start amd amg dynamics can be changed and then you can also um customize it to set different settings like the display up there so you just click it quickly and then it brings up the engine display which i think is amazing and very very quick it's customizable and i like that the new inbox system in is found in this a35 and it works really smoothly it has front camera view when you stop in at the robot 
which is cool i just wish that you could put that camera on or off as you please so that like if you're in a parking space you could just put it on or off but yeah that's what i think uh more cool things on the inside is that the mouse pad is gone so no more mouse pad uh, it's just this little tray that is very shallow my phone fits in here i have an iphone mini too so that fits in there but if you have a bigger phone it won't fit keys can also fit here but if you're gonna be driving fast your keys will be flying all over this show inside you get two screens which are huge i think they're seven inch uh so that shows you all the information you know need to know from driving uh the digital cluster display also has new screens so it's super sport sport classic and understated uh, my favorite is to just leave it in super sport uh, the rev counters looks cool there's like a tunnel vibe going to it on the inside you also get dual climate zones the vents in front really look nice uh, airplane type of vibes aero vibes and interior lighting is very nice and there's also ambient lighting the seats are electronically controlled and they also have capabilities to be heated uh, three levels of heating the seats are comfortable these are two-tone pepper red and black which look cool they really give this a35 an aggressive look panoramic sunroof is a added extra which i think you should option uh, it really gives this vehicle a good look and nice natural light inside uh, there's three usb plugs which are type c one in front and two in the cabio box over here and then there's also one at the back for rear passengers there's also vents at the back for rear passengers legroom at the back is quite decent there's nice space at the back i think these a bit of the more bigger ones in the hot hatch segment on the inside it's fit with the advanced sound system which sounds amazing it is enough sound like um i, li I like music i listen to music almost all the time and this sound system is good if you do want something a bit more um and then you can option for the biomaster sound system which comes at the extra cost also on the inside you're able to choose between this black roof lining or the crystal gray i'd option for the black roof lining there's also a few options for seat um, and interior um, colors and setup the black and red two-tone interior looks nice and sporty on the a35 it's been spec'd out nicely i like it um i do wish that the seats could hug you a bit more on the side because this vehicle is so capable around the corners i wish that it just did have a bit more like hugging bolstering you on the side in the middle here there is a button for the vehicle dynamics a volume control and then the parking assistance i do wish that there was a skip button here for the sound system but anyway uh, the infotainment system does have Apple CarPlay, which is wireless. It also has Android Auto, which I haven't tested out. The A35 has five drive modes. That's snow drive mode. It has individual drive mode, which you're able to customize. And then there's comfort mode, sport mode, and sport plus mode. There's also switches here to switch on the AMG Drive Dynamics. Uh, you can turn off the traction control from the buttons on this AMG specific steering wheel. And you're able to also customize it to it a bit more pedal shifters feel nice and every time you shift the gear it explodes and it just propels you forward nicely the engine is a two liter four cylinder turbocharged petrol engine that has mild hybrid assistance it is able to add 10 kilowatts to the engine power at any given time sort of so i feel like it's helping with the turbo lag as well so just before the turbo or while the turbo is spooling up the hybrid electric motor assistance help with keeping the revs up and help keeping the engine ready to fire and that is really nice it's very responsive uh doesn't feel like this car is turbocharged but of course it is yeah the output powers are 225 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque 
which can be sent to all four wheels via the Mercedes-Benz AMG formatic system. There's a nice display over here on the engine display that shows you torque readout and kilowatt readout. That's live readout under your foot as you are driving. The engine is mated to a new 8-speed dual-clutch transmission which is found in the A45s and it fires rapidly. The old A35 had a 7-speed transmission which was good but this 8-speed is a lot quicker and it's just paired up nicer to this two-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine. The A35 is able to explode from 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds which is quick not the fastest in the straight line uh, the a45 is is obviously a bit more hardcore so that is able to explode from 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds and it has 500 newton meters and 310 kilowatts and you're also able to change the adaptive dampening from comfort sport and then super sport drive dynamics in here is very very good um, steering is pinpointed as direct steering with variable steering ratios and it is precise I really like it when you point the car the car goes um, formatic system also paired up with the direct steering is very very nice it's sharp the car is really really good in the twisties you won't really miss the A45s um, especially if you have the family with you uh, it's very comfortable in here so with that said, I feel like this is enough AMG for you. I really like the styling that the A35 has compared to the 45S which is a lot more hardcore with the aero designed um, spoiler at the back. I like the subtle look of the A35. Especially in this metallic black, I think it looks good. The guys from Mercedes did a good job specking this vehicle out. It's a good test unit, very attractive. Well done guys.